Hello, my name is Rainer Gertz and I'm the main author of our syslog. Uh, I want to talk you through our syslog templates today and give you a quick demonstration. Uh, I will primarily use the tools itself, so just let me explain a couple of points before doing that. Uh, I would like to show you what a template is and what you can do with it. In brief, a template is a specification of a string. and these strings you can use wherever you output something in our syslog. For example, if you write something to a file, you can use uh, a template. If you send something to another syslog daemon, you send actually a, a template string to another uh, daemon. If you write something to a database, you do this via a template. So whenever a string for an output action is to be generated, this is done via template. You usually do not see them because our syslog has some canned templates which are used if no custom ones are defined. So the focus of this presentation is how to work with them and we'll show this, we'll show this with the uh, real tools, how to specify templates, how to assign them to actions, how to access properties and how to modify properties. So let's go out of the presentation mode and look at the real thing. Uh, what's most important in the talk about templates well, let's go into uh, the file, the config file, etc. rsyslog.conf. And that is just a regular Debian config file format. And just for brevity, I go to the end of it, add a file, add an empty line, and then I say dollar $template. And this is followed, th this starts the template definition. And it is followed by the template name. I call it test, or let's call it sample. That looks nicer. Uh, and then you specify a string, which is empty in this case. And inside this string, you can specify both literal text as well as properties, as they are called in our syslog. So let's start with some literal text. Let's say test, or let's say message. Uh, and assume we want to have the syslog message. And let me tell you for now, this, this is called percent msg percent. And then we need, as in C, uh, terminate the line. We've done this. And now let's write to a file. This is well, log test.log. Let's call it that way. And this is what you usually see. This is a typical line. I've removed the template if you want to write to a file with a custom Arthur's log format. Oops. Oh, by the way, this is an important point. This won't work. The template must be defined before it is used. So let's put it in the right order again. Uh, but I have not yet said that I want to use this format with that action. To do this, I need to add a semicolon immediately followed by the template name. So now I'm saying uh, I write to this varlog test log file and instruct the Arthur's log engine to use this sample format, which must be defined in front of it. So let's do that and let's restart Arthur's log. Lit.d Arthur's log. Restart, and then we'll see a file var log test .log. and here you see the contents that we have. Yes, you see the message. Let's go out of this. Uh, let me see if gvim over here. No. So let's open up another. Uh, where we are. There. Another terminal window. And let's open sudo var no etc syslog.conf. Sudo would have been nice if I'd called vi. So what we actually see is our line. And now let's go over here and let's open the uh, resulting log. So here you see you have message and here you see you have message. 
And this is followed uh, by a micro or a property that's called MSG. And MSG uh, has the full text of the message. You see here my sudo logs, you see uh, the restart. This is quite important. You can use many different properties and if you use rsyslog, you probably want to need want to see which properties you uh, use. This you